Okay, we've got a, a portrait commission to do with a bit of a twist. This portrait commission, the subject has to be in a spacesuit on the planet Mars next to a Tesla pickup truck and having arrived in a SpaceX starship. Yeah. Well, this is right up my street actually, isn't it? It's uh, a space painting. I love to do space paintings. They're, uh, they're great. It's a real passion of mine. Um, so yeah, so, but we've got three complicated elements to do here. The hardest part of this painting to do something like this would be the space suit, because uh, I'm going to have to design it myself. Uh, that's challenge number one. Then we've got to uh, find images of the Martian surface. And we've also got to find images of a Tesla pickup truck um, oh, and the Starship as well. So there's all these elements. Um, so how would, I, how would I go about a commission like this? Well, the first thing is the planet Mars, isn't it? That's, that's easy. Uh, all you need to do is go to NASA. NASA has uh, NASA archives have endless pictures of the Martian surface and they're really really good uh, so we can do an authentic Martian surface that's no problem at all. The other element the subject I'm going to give a nod to the film The Martian um, they did this promotional poster of him where Matt Damon is sat there on the surface looking a bit kind of forlorn and um, I'm going to have my subject in the same position uh, but I'm going to design a different spacesuit uh, around the subject's face. Then there's the Tesla pickup. That's also no problem at all. It's, uh, it's a vehicle. There are thousands of Tesla pickup images on Google. And I'm also going to um, alter whatever ever image I use. I'm going to alter it uh, because I'm going to make it the pressurised version that will be used on Mars one day. So it's a, it's a great vehicle to put in this painting, I agree. Um, and the Starship, well, the Elon Musk is making Starship at the moment. So there are plenty of images online of um, Elon Musk's Starship, which of those of you who don't know, is the vehicle that is being currently built that will take humanity to Mars. So it's fantastic. Um, so yeah, it, it can be done. It's complicated. But it can be done. Now, what I would do these days is use Procreate on the iPad. I get all these images, select all the images of the various things that I want, and I'll play around with them on, the, on an iPad. Um, Procreate on an iPad is fantastic for doing uh, quick image manipulation. Procreate really is a great tool. It just allows you to slap a picture together, you know, get the idea that's in your mind down in some form. It's so much, uh, 
it's so much more advanced than doing a thumbnail sketch because when you when you send it to the client they get a real idea a real sense of what the finished painting that you have in mind is going to look like um, and so that's what I did with this I um, slapped together this uh, pre procreate image which um, very accurately conveyed the ideas I had I uh, gave it to the client the client was very happy with that image for me to go ahead so all that uh, remained now was to to paint it you know in oil painting you'd kind of refer to this stage as the blocking phase and I suppose that's uh, that's the same thing for pastels I'm just blocking in the basic colors that I need and then I'm refining them somewhat <laughs> When I came to do the Martian surface here, I was very conscious of the fact that it's background. It's the car that's got to really shine in this in this area. And this has to be looking like it's in the distance. So I'm keeping it fairly simple. You could see that sort of sandy brick red color that I used as a base. And then on top of that, I've just drawn in with the pencils the shape of each stone. It took quite a bit uh, of time actually. This is sped up quite a lot. Um, yeah, quite laborious doing all these stones, but they are very simple shapes and each one of them uh, of course have to, has to have its own shadow and its own lighting to make it look real. Uh, so I did fiddle around with the stones quite a lot. I was kind of learning on the job here. just just what effect work too much. I suppose I'm using the pencils so that the colors are not too uh, chromatic so that they don't leap forward at all. So pencils were ideal for this both because of the small scale of some of the stones but also uh, because uh, the pigment uh, in a pencil is not as strong as you would get say with a, a unison pastel. So it worked it worked quite well. Um, the only difficulty I would say was the sheer scale of it that it was quite daunting uh, the idea of doing all those but something like that you sort of pace yourself and you you do an hour say then take a break uh, do something else then come back later on in the afternoon do another hour and that way gradually piece by piece everything gets done and then the time arrives when we've reached a stage where we're happy enough to say right it's time to do that car let's get the car in now you'll notice uh, when I start to put in the color on the car that my initial idea was to do that matte black finish that you see um, around these days but then I thought no I want it to look a bit more otherworldly so you'll see that it goes from matte black to a kind of metallic greenish and uh, yeah that that evolved as it was happening really that my ideas were coming into fruition and I think it, it, it worked pretty well I was quite pleased with the um, emerald green sheen to the car that I put on and I felt that that 
um, complemented the astronaut figure, which is yet to come. I do hope you're enjoying this short video. Um, I'm going to do this one in two parts. So this is part one where I'm just taking you up to the car and in part two which will follow um, shortly uh, I'll do the astronaut and the starship and the completion of this picture. And then after that I'm going to be doing uh, demonstrating uh, a tiger painting uh, done in oils. So. Please remember to like and subscribe if you like these uh, videos that I'm producing. It's, uh, it would be very helpful to me. Thank you. Now the windows for the car, I wanted to make them look more otherworldly as well. And so I was influenced by the Apollo astronauts. This was a painting I did of Gene Cernan. You notice the visor there, this metallic sort of gold look. Well, that would be much more accentuated on, uh, on a Martian surface because the sky isn't black, it's sort of yellowish. So I thought that would be a, a nice to have this metallic gold look to the windows. Um, just to, you know, you've got to make this car look different because it, this this whole scenario is not of this earth. So I wanted the car to convey that somehow, and I thought putting a metallic gold windows in would certainly certainly take it there.
It's interesting for me just watching over what I did here as I'm editing together this video and it just shows how many layers of pencil work you can put onto a pastel matte surface. It's um, it's quite amazing really. You know, I, I never at any point uh, during this, doing this car, uh, felt that the tooth of the, of the surface was used up. Far from it, you know. So as long as you're fairly light with your pencil strokes, um, it's almost limitless the amount of tweaking and changing that you can do. Um, and you can see lots of accent colours that I've added here and there. And you can see that I even put some of those greens into the into the tyres, into the wheels, uh, and also some reflected uh, reds and oranges off the Martian surface. It was uh, it was ideal, really. The pastel matte surface is ideal for doing this kind of work with, with solid objects that require a lot of layering. Okay, so we've got the car to a certain level now. It seems uh, it seems to work quite well, I think. Um, it's now time, uh, rather than just get bogged down with more of this, I'm, I'm finding that this is a bit um, a bit less inspiring. I'd be more inspired to do to do a good job here once I've got the figure in. And then I see it that all I'm all I'm having to do is just do this bit really well. Um, so I'm going to work in that order rather than go here and here. I'm going to go here to here. So the most difficult part of the whole painting is yet to come. It is it is the main figure. Various bits of reference material. A lot of it's from imagination and. Various things like that, even crazy things like uh, one of my son's toys. This comes in quite useful actually. Um, more, more useful than you would believe. It's quite good. So I'm going to be looking at looking at that. That's good for working out light actually in the shadow. 
but also I've been scouring the internet for spacesuits, Martian spacesuits, and uh, the latest Artemis spacesuits. So I've got lots of various different pictures of the different types of spacesuit and that sort of thing. And now I'm just going to have fun um, and design something that I think would be uh, a pretty, a pretty good Mars spacesuit. <laughs> 